Hello and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I am doing our bedroom tour. This has been a video I have wanted to do for ages but we have just been doing this room quite slowly. We started it probably about seven months ago and we've just pretty much finished it bar a couple of things this weekend so i thought it would be really nice to give you a bedroom tour if you are new to my channel my name is katie i post videos three times a week on a tuesday thursday and sunday and i would love it if you would subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so and to give you a little bit of background we are in the middle of a complete house renovation so we moved into our house a year and two months ago now and we're slowly renovating it from top to bottom but in terms of our bedroom I decided to go for a blush pink and grey and brass theme a lot of my house is blush pink grey and brass but I just really like it I think it's really calming for a bedroom and yeah I'm so pleased with how this room has turned out it's pretty much finished it's a really lovely space to come and relax in at the end of the day light a candle and read my book and I just really really love it so I couldn't be more thrilled it's probably my favorite room in the house I think but then I say that about all of them once I've done them but other than a couple of things and also our ensuite hasn't been done yet either this room is pretty much done so I really hope that you enjoy this bedroom tour so this is our bedroom as you're looking at it from the hallway you can see it's a really good size and it's actually one of the reasons why we bought the house because all the bedrooms are a really good size so you walk in there's actually a couple of things that I'm yet to do in this room. One of them is replace this door. Eventually we want to replace all the doors upstairs for similar to a couple of ones we've got downstairs. A couple of the doors, I think two downstairs we've already changed to more of a natural wood rather than this white wood. But it's one of those things that costs money and time and effort and we just haven't got around to it yet. But one day we will change this and we will also change this one. This one leads to our ensuite. I've shut the door because it's a bit of a mess it's not done one day we will get that done but that is not a big priority at the moment but you can see that the color of the door I haven't painted that door and it's such a different color to the white but then if you walk in you can see we've got quite a big sort of walkway area our carpet I did this with my curling irons I can't believe I did it so that's really annoying but the carpet is a greyish colour, it's between beige and grey and it just depends on the light, sometimes it looks more grey, sometimes it looks more beige and we replaced all the carpets upstairs when we moved in and we're really happy with them. Apparently they're quite a reasonably priced carpet, like quite affordable and apparently they are really good for stains because you can wipe the stains off so they're really good for with kids. But then if you come up here this print is from a lady on Instagram called Eleanor Boma and I actually got this really recently for John for Father's Day. It's the Manchester Bee and she did it in response to the Manchester terror attacks and I just really like this. John has was born and bred in Manchester. He lived there till he was 19 and he is really proud of coming from Manchester. So I just knew that he would like this and he loves it and it also looks really nice in our bedroom. And then if we go round, I think I will show you this side of the room first. So this is the most recent thing we've done. We've replaced our wardrobe doors. So the doors that were there previously were like a cream color. They were almost like a fake wood effect you know where you get like the fake grains of wood and they were a little bit tatty they were falling apart but the actual wardrobe like framework itself is still really good so all we've done is just replace the doors and we got these from a company called doors to size I will try and link everything below but they were just a normal matte white wood I think they look really good and then I got these hexagonal brass handles from a company called Bombay Duck and it was just randomly I googled hexagonal handles and that was what came up but I'm really pleased with them I've got quite a theme going on for hexagons and circles and things so I just really like those and I'm just really pleased with how the wardrobes have turned out we were gonna replace that mirrored wardrobe but you can see it's a slightly different size to the white doors and in the end we thought well we need a mirror anyway so we will just keep it but in an ideal world I would have had it completely white down this side but I think the mirrors look okay and then if if you come round here 
The rug on the floor there is a grey sheepskin rug which is from Laradute. I've mentioned this so many times before but if you buy anything from Laradute just wait because they have lots of offer codes and things on so never buy full price but I think that looks really nice just sat there, it's a perfect fit. And then this is what you are greeted with here. I love our bed. I we had a bed and we weren't going to originally change it, but then made.com had a like offer type clearance sale on and this bed was in the sale and it was really heavily discounted and I just love it. So it's like one of these quilted ones. In certain light, it almost looks like a grey pink. It's a really like different grey colour. I really like it. I love this quilted effect. It's really soft and what's really good about the bed as well is that it has got under drawer, under bed storage in drawer form so that's really good and yeah I'm just so pleased with the bed. It's really comfy as well. We kept the mattress but we just changed the bed frame and then our duvet and kind of bed stuff is from the blush pink is from Next, but we also have a spare set from Argos. And then this throw type thing is like a linen effect. It's really, really nice. That's from made.com. And the cushions are from made.com, but the little cushion is from Georgia Asda. And I'm so pleased with this like blush pink and gray theme we've got going on. Quite a, quite a lot of our house is blush pink and gray, but I just think it works really well in the bedroom. It's really calming. And then the paintwork on the back, I want to say, is called Warm Pewter by Dulux, but I will check and see what it is. But I just love the colour. I think it's a really nice feature wall because it's not too heavy, but it really does look different in contrast to the white. And then if we go over here, when we moved into the house, I had this idea for our bedroom that I wanted pendant lighting and John was like, no way, like that would be so impractical with kids and what is the point and blah, blah, blah. But eventually I persuaded him. It wasn't actually that hard a job. We just had an electrician come around and put those pendant lights in and then we've also got spotlights as well and I just really like them. I think they're really different. I don't know anybody else who's got them and yeah, I just really, really like them. I'll show you what they look like when they're on. So this is what they look like when they're on and yeah, I just love them so much. Like it really probably is one of my favorite things in the room and they are actually from a company called Heels. I just Googled pendant lighting and I like these ones the most and they're just glass. Funnily enough, the kids don't actually go near them. They've never tried to swing off them or anything, but I just really think there's something a little bit different about the room. And then going down, our plant is a, this is John's side of the bed, by the way. That little plant is from the garden center and the little pot it's in is from Ikea. And then this little pot is just somewhere that he keeps his change. That is from H&M. That frame is from Not On The High Street. I love it. It's like a brass frame. And then the picture's kind of etched onto the frame. And I just really like that. That little candle is from Home Sense. And then I love this. This is like a rose quartz coaster. We've also got some downstairs as well, which is from Anthropology. And then if I just take a step back, I wanted to tell you about our bedside tables. So when we moved into the house, before we'd even moved in, I spotted these on made.com. By the way, a lot of stuff is from made.com because I love it. But I saw these and it was just one of those things like it was like a little interview with the designer rather than actually like selling them. And they weren't showing on the website and I basically stalked made.com's website every day and eventually they came up for sale and I ordered them then and then, there and then, even though we hadn't bought our house yet, just because I love them so much. They're so different. I've not ever seen anything really like them before. They go perfectly with the color scheme. And I think, actually, I panic bought them because I was worried they were gonna sell out, but I think they still have them on there. I will try and link to them if they are. But they're just a little bit different. I love the color pink shades. And what they are is they're actually trays rather than drawers. So you take them off if you want to take them off. So you could just have two if your bed was a little bit lower. Or you could take a tray off and use it to put your laptop on when you're in bed or breakfast in bed or something like that. And you can still put stuff in the trays as well. So it's like a bedside table but it's just not drawers. And yeah, I just think they're really different. I just love them and I think that they look really nice in the room. I have got 
got a weird style, probably looking at all this and thinking what on earth is all this, but I really like it. And then going round, I've also got this corner of the room which I will talk about in a minute, but going round here, this is my side of the bed. So again, the same bedside table, same light, but I've just got a few different things on mine. So the little plant is actually from Tesco's. They do a really nice selection of indoor plants. This was actually a present from my grandma, bless her. And then I've just got a few random sort of like what I call coffee table books up there. Like we have no plans to go to Japan, but I really like reading guidebooks. That's just a weird guilty pleasure of mine. And then another coaster from Anthropology. This little thing is kind of marble and brass. That's from La Redoute. I think it should have a tea light in it, but I haven't put it in yet. And just that little thing behind there normally has my watch on it. And normally it would have loads of wires and stuff, but I've taken it off just for the fact that this video won't be messy then. And then going along here, this plant is actually a really recent purchase. I got it at the weekend. It was £10 from Homebase, and Homebase do a really great selection of plants. I didn't even realise, like indoor plants. And this is a little bit different, but I really like it. I think it looks really nice, kind of sat there in our bedroom. It's actually a coconut, I think, but it's just a bit random. And then the basket is from HomeSense. And then going along, this wall hanging, I love so much. It's from a lady on Instagram. She did me one for downstairs as well, but she's called the Copper Otter, and she's just so talented. Like, look at this. It's like really like individual. It's really different. And it actually came in copper, but we spray painted it brass because I really kind of wanted it for in here, and obviously this room is brass. So yeah, we spray painted it, and I think it's worked really well, and I really, really like it there. And then moving along, let's go back round and talk about the stuff above the bed. So again, this is probably one of my favourite things in the entire bedroom. So it's a little wire sign which I got from a lady on Instagram called More Than Just. I actually found her a couple of years ago because I bought another one of her pieces for our old office which says Hello Beautiful, but that's different. It's more of like a kind of block of wood rather than like separate wire letters. But I wanted her to make me this. She makes you any phrase and I just decided to have Let's Stay In Bed. And what's really nice now is that she tells me that loads of people now order Let's Stay In Bed. And it was actually me that sort of started that off. So I really like that, that's really flattering. I get loads of messages about these. But basically how you put them in the wall is you drill little tiny holes in the wall and then you sort of just stick them in and that's it. And it's really, really easy. It was a little bit scary doing it because obviously you're drilling holes into a wall but it actually looks really nice and I love that I get so many messages about that and then above it is a piece of wall art from West Elm a lot of people think it's mirrors it's actually not it's little white um, sort of geometric tiles um, they're ceramic and this is really different it's really like unusual and I was thinking originally to put photos up there or a print and then I saw this and I just loved it and so I got it in the West Elm sale and yeah I just love it it's just really different it's really unusual and I think it looks really nice there and then it also obviously ties in with the geometric handles hexagon handles I've got going on there as well and so then moving round we have got this corner of the room which has just been completed this weekend and I love it so I've got my dressing table and then I've got these pictures and I will show you so my dressing table I've never had a dressing table before and then when we moved into this bigger space I was like oh I'm gonna have to get a dressing table I love this one because it's a little bit kind of like mid-century style this is again from made.com and I just really like it I've got all sorts of different things on there, all my makeup, and then it's got drawers, and I've got all my makeup and stuff in there. Let me know if you'd like, like a dressing table tour or something like that. I don't know if that's a thing, but I could do one if you want me to. And then going down, I've got this little kind of fluffy brass stool, which I got from Maison de Monde. And then I've got a few different things on my windowsill. I've got this speaker, which we've had years. Um, you can either use it via Bluetooth or you can plug your phone in. And it's really nice to listen to music in the evening or when we're getting ready. 
I've got this candle which is a Bath and Body Works one. It's watermelon lemonade and it smells amazing. I've got this little cactus which I got from the garden centre. I really like this kind of triangular pot. I've got another candle which I got from HomeSense and then I've just got a little trinket box there and I haven't decided what to put in it yet. And then moving along, above our dressing table, I have got these shelves, which again is a little bit unusual, but I really like it. You'll see I've definitely got my own sense of style. I really don't know half the time whether it goes or whatever, but these little brass shelves are from Cox and Cox. And I've just put a lot of different random things on there. So that little, <coughs> excuse me, that little like cactus succulent thing is a fake one that's from New Look. And then that frame is from H&M Home. I really like that and I've put some New York pictures in it. Then this pot is from H&M Home. This looks like it's dying. It is a little bit kind of worse for wear but it is supposed to look like that. It's one of those kind of hanging string of pearls plants. And I really like that. I really like the fact it's hanging down. And then I've got another little brass shelf here. This little guy is from the garden centre. He's looking a little bit worse for her as well. This hello sign is from Tesco's. That little pink bird candle is from Maison de Monde. And then this fake eucalyptus is also from Tesco's and so is the vase, like it comes together. And yeah, I just really like the way that that looks there underneath my, or above, sorry, my dressing table. And then moving along, we have got these frames. These literally have just been done. We put pictures in them at the weekend. So I love this. Again, it's just a random thing to do, but I think it looks really nice. So the frames and the knobs are all from Cox and & Cox, and I filled them with photos that we had taken in New York, just randomly. I think one day maybe I will replace it and do like a mixture of photos, but for now, these photos kind of match the color scheme weirdly, so I've gone for that. But these frames are just little hanging frames and they've got little velvet um, ribbons and then the knobs are like all brass and again they go really nicely with those hexagon knobs that I've got on our wardrobe. So I really really like those, I just think that that looks really nice. It's kind of cluttered this area I guess but I think it kind of works and I really really like it. And then I think that pretty much is it. That's all I've really got to talk about. So yeah, that is our bedroom. So that is it. That is our bedroom tour. I really hope that you enjoyed this video and I really hope that you like our bedroom. I would love to know if you have a similar colour scheme in your bedroom or what your colour scheme is and whether you would go for things like this or whether you would do it a little bit differently. But thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and I will know to do more interior type videos. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye!